sporotrichosis. And best way to explain this is with a series of photos. So first we have this beautiful rose and this rose is probably in some garden but just like the song every rose has its thorn and you can see some of these thorns in the background here and they're also on the stem of course so here's a, another photo of some very prominent thorns and what happens is anytime someone who handles roses such as gardeners or horticulturists pricks themselves with their finger they can be exposed to this fungus and this fungus has a special name Sporothrix shenki and this fungus can enter the body and cause a rather serious infection and here's a photo of someone who's been in infected as you can see there's abscesses and ulcers here's another photo of a little bit more severe case so let's recap the organism that's involved is sporothrix shenki this is a fungus or a mold And this fungus resides on rose thorns or rose bushes. And anyone who deals with these types of uh, flowers, such as gardeners or horticulturists, are most often affected. And what happens is when somebody pricks themselves, that can cause the fungus to enter the body. So if this does enter the body, what type of symptoms or physical exam findings would you have? On the patient's hand or arm, you will see these nodules. And as this infection expands, you can see abscesses or even ulcers. And if not treated, they can become necrotic as the skin can die. And rarely it can spread to organs or the bones. In terms of diagnosis, you have to do a culture. And the culture is done of either the tissue or pus from the active infection site and in terms of treatment because it's a fungal infection you can use a azole and in particular the drug of choice is itroconazole 200 milligrams daily for about three weeks a 40-year-old, otherwise healthy gardener, presents with several subcutaneous nodules on his right hand, where he had cut himself on rose thorns. Physical exam reveals several erythematous fluctuant lesions. Which of the following organisms is most likely responsible for his condition? It's a classical clinical vignette that points to Sporothrix shenki. A 56-year-old grandmother whose hobby is gardening presents with a red swelling in her right ring finger. She does not remember any specific trauma to the area but frequently sustains small cuts on her hands while tending to her garden. Physical exam reveals a small red non-tender papule on the right ring finger which shows erythema and swelling with a small draining pustule on the lateral side. There are ascending erythematous streaks up the right arm with several draining pustules along their course. Bacterial cultures are negative. Which one of the following is the most effective medication and most likely to be well tolerated by this patient? The drug of choice for 
sporotrichosis is itraconazole. But I wanted to mention that potassium iodide has been a treatment in the past, but it's poorly tolerated and is also not as effective. Therefore, the most effective medication is itraconazole, choice A.